It is super important that you pay attention. Their narrative is cracking at the absolute seams. The irony of what I'm about to present today around them saying that cryptocurrency is used for money laundering, for illicit, illicit activities, the irony what I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind. Cryptocurrency is the new system. Every single day we get closer and closer. First they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. Let's repeat that and write that down. First they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. We're now in regulation and joining phase. And what you're about to see, this is why they're pushing so hard on it, is you're about to see the irony and the darkness coming to light. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the irony of Elizabeth Warren and these senators saying that it's used for illicit activities. We're also going to see how the whole presidential election and campaign is flipped to crypto. And then tomorrow I'm going to be presenting to you guys an interesting dynamic that may be coming into the White House that is going to be, it's interesting. I'm going to share my opinion on it. It may not be favorable, but I'll tell you what, remember, if you follow my content, write down infrastructure and we need to grow our way out of the economy. I truly believe that what we are doing and what we're investing in, we are doing the right thing, that we are gonna end up having one of the biggest growths that we've ever seen in our living history. Okay, so the irony of this, okay? The absolute irony of this. We know Elizabeth Warren has been on this terror around cryptocurrency is used for illicit activities, for fentanyl, for criminals. Uh, we know uh, irony of what I'm gonna talk about tomorrow. We know Jamie Dimon, I said it's used by criminals, used for money laundering, right? Well, that's what also uh, Larry Fink said, right? And now here we are. U.S. Senator who called Bitcoin ideal choice for criminals is convicted of bribery. Mendez sentenced has been scheduled for October 29th and he could face decades in prison. One of New Jersey's Democratic senators, Bob Mendez, was found guilty on Tuesday of accepting bribes as a foreign agent. Come on. The crypto community pointed to the irony of Mendez getting uh, convicted of corruption, giving the label Bitcoin as an ideal choice for criminals. You're probably going to see a lot more of this. Who's so a staunch crypto critic was found guilty of accepting bribes, including gold bars and luxury cars in exchange for political clout by a jury on Tuesday. I thought it was cryptocurrency that was you. So, but you're using it's just like the irony of this. It's like you're saying, ah. Uh, this come on guys come on it's you're using gold and silver luxury cars but i thought it was cryptocurrencies used for illicit activities so you're just you're saying oh it's crypto so that's what's it but i'm going to use gold and i'm going to use cars so it's just like the irony of all this stuff but the great news is we are heading towards massive adoption ripplebacks marine veteran pro crypto lawyer uh, for elizabeth warren's senate we know john deaton uh, is running for that senate hearing so warren has drawn has drawn uh, the ear of the crypto industry for her fierce criticism of digital assets and her support of SEC's regulation crackdown. The crypto firm is betting big on the Republican lawyer to defeat Massachusetts Senator, Senator Warren in the battle for the U.S. Senate. Um, let's see. According to public uh, Federal Election Commission filings, Ripple has donated $1 million to the Commission Wealth United Fund, a new super PAC created by a lawyer and crypto enthusiast, Jane Murphy, to replace the crypto critic Elizabeth Warren. Deaton is a Marine veteran lawyer and political um, neophyte. Did I say that correctly? My dyslexia neophyte has 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 gained significant name recognition as a crypto advocate, particularly in the spirited social media defense of Ripple, which he sued in 2020. The security Exchange Commission for issuing digital token XRP without uh, registration, thus allegedly violating the securities laws. So Senator Bob Mendez is getting arrested and may be spending decades in prison for the irony of saying that cryptocurrency is used for illicit activities, but he's using cars and gold. We got Elizabeth Warren with the pressure from John Deaton. We know that everything she has said is completely off the wall. And now we're heading into a totally different realm, guys. I mean, we are months away from this presidential election. It's a Bitcoin play. Mark Cuban says Silicon Valley embraces Trump's uh, revolves around crypto. So everything's flipped. It's like, boom, everybody's turning against all the anti-crypto people. And now everybody's coming for the crypto people. Like, think about that. So if you've been watching this content or if you have family members that are still pushing back, just ignore the noise, guys. Just ignore the noise. Okay. Main Street isn't going to give you the future to where Wall Street is going. 
You have to watch the money flows of what is happening. Everything is flipping every single day. It's getting more bullish and more bullish. We know this Donald Trump and J.D. Vance created pro crypto presidential ticket. Uh, we already reported on that. And then uh, Watch Guru put out just in President Donald Trump says he does not want to let another country take over Bitcoin and cryptocurrency dominance. So he is working to bring crypto into the fray and he is working to uh, make it a legitimate asset class. Right. So now we're in a totally different realm. OK, now this is where the emotional intelligence has to kick in. This is where you need to start reading the books. Intelligent Investor, Richest Man in Babylon, Cash Flow Quadrant. What we saw from 2020 to 2022, a bunch of people became very wealthy. Number one, they did not pull profits. Number two is they didn't create any other cash generating assets. And number three, they didn't rewire their brain about wealth. That's why a lot of lottery winners go broke. That's why a lot of pro athletes, once they hit the big contract, if they've never had wealth gone broke, that's why I went broke three times in my life until I rewired the foundation to end up in a different situation. So there's multiple things that we need to look at. Number one is financial literacy. You have to understand at a deep level what money is. In America, money is just debt. We monetize debt. So every single time you put money into a bank, they take your money and they monetize it and make money off it. So if you put 10 grand into a bank, they take your nine grand and they lend it to the next person. So they make money off your money. Okay, that's number one. Number two is we have to understand that if my pay is your debt, your debt is my pay in America. We have zero money, right? We have to monetize with the print money, monetize debt, right? So who's going to be the wealthy person? The person giving their money away so someone can monetize it or the person taking their money to monetize it? The person takes their money and monetizes it. That's a form of investing, right? Or putting it into cash generating assets. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to understand how these markets work, financial or money works, financial literacy. Number two is you got to understand discipline, non-negotiables, okay, and debts. Figure out what your debts are, non-negotiables. Go down to minimum debts, figure out what you can live with and what's non-negotiable, okay? Food, shelter, all that stuff. Then you create cash flow. So if you have two cars, go down to one. Okay, open up a car payment. Now you have extra cash flow. Number three is learn how these markets work. Maybe invest into these markets, right? So figure out where we're growing, where, where, where are they taking us, right? And maybe make some bets in those markets. Number four is when you start to profit, you learn to diversify in different things. You want diversification because look at this. You know, the, the real estate market's up and then it's down. Gold is up and then it's down. Crypto's up and then it's down. So if you start to diversify and you understand how to leverage your assets to buy more assets and you start to buy things you want with other people's money, assets, you start to become part of a cash flow bubble. Okay, so I mentioned the books, right? Richest Man in Blah Blah Blah, Think and Grow Rich, Cash Flow Quadrant. Those are three main ones uh, that you should focus on to really understand, right? Then from all of that, you want to protect it, right? So it's not, to me, it's not, do you need a trust or what type of trust do you need? It's what type of trust do you need? For me, it's like, do you not, do you, do you need insurance? What type of insurance do you need? So I'm very big on insuring my wealth and insuring my money for the future and generations to come. So I have insurance, a lot of my money. Then we also have our trust set up for the Rockefeller waterfall system. So it's from generation to generation. So um, we are in exciting times right now. I know it doesn't feel like it. There's a lot of intensity, but we have to experience this darkness. Like like the Bob Mendez thing. That's That's just the darkness coming to light, guys. There's nothing to battle. There's nothing to protest. What you should be doing is battling the mind. Your battle is against nobody. Your battle is against your own consciousness. It's rewiring your brain, getting back down into the heart, working to manifest, working to connect, working to connect to the field that you want that has already been created. Raise that vibration. Get focused. Get dedicated. Get disciplined. You can do this. Okay. So if you need any support at all, okay, I have some free resources for you. So in the description of this video, you can fill out what's called a needs assessment. Okay. Our team will help you with a retirement strategy. We'll break down all these different things. You'll fill out the form based on what you're looking for. And then my qualified team member will reach out to you. So first, they're going to call you. They're going to text you and email you. Okay, It's a free consultation. Just want to make sure you understand that. There's a lot of scammers out there on the social medias. So it's a free consultation. They'll text you. They'll call you and they email you. That's my team reaching out to you. Okay, number two is I do have a uh, August uh, start, start. The next cycle is starting. We also have an education academy uh, where I take you live coaching with me for four weeks, and then you're part of my monthly call every single month, and that's an education academy. If you fill that out, you'll be meeting with my, one of my team members to see if you qualify for that. That's in the description of this video or in my social media platforms. So click the link. So those are both appointment-based, okay? If you set an appointment, just make sure to show up. We get hundreds of appointments per week, so make sure to respect our team and show up. We love you guys. We appreciate you. As we always say, Warriors, ah, let's get your shit together. Love you guys.